you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Kind of Corso. The dogs are having fun, so I figured I would film it. Got ourselves a little puppy fight night over here. So we've got Midnight, who's somehow quite intrigued by her tail. <coughs> Preacher, who's over here watching. We've got Blondie over here who's been trying to mess with Midnight the whole time. She's been trying to get her to play. And then we have, it was originally uh, Tennessee and Seneca playing. You see, look how Seneca's getting. She's getting too amped up. So she's going to get in trouble. She's going to get in trouble for getting too amped up. Watch. Watch. Watch what happens. She's so full of herself. She's so funny. Do you see how Tennessee stopped playing? And she's kind of watching. She's like, ooh, I don't know. Preacher's not having it. He's like, you leave me out of it. So if Casimir wasn't laying in the dining room area sleeping... <laughs> She'd probably come over here and put this little puppy in check, but she's... I'll show you. She's completely out. I just fed her. But she's just out, man. She's just exhausted. So you can see, you see here Tennessee's trying to put her down. Because she knows she's not supposed to be acting that way. She's way too amped up. And she's probably only getting away with it because... Velocity is the Omega, but we'll see what happens. Oh. Blondie. Psst. <laughs> Blondie's getting mad. She's like, get off my lawn. <laughs> hey, sugar. Hey, baby. Oh, oh little buddy. So she got, she got popped, like, looks like she got bit on her eyebrow not not bad but enough to kind of pinch it so and they you know they do that they play with each other they play pretty rough so that's not uncommon to see but it's funny she matches her dad now <laughs> they both have a mark over their eye <clears throat> I just treat it I should tell you I treat it with I buy chlorhexidine online and then I treat it um, with that dilution and iodine. Oh, 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 oh. what I tell you, dude, what I tell you, she's gonna get it. She's gonna get put down. So Blondie stepped in. And I knew it was coming, man. I knew it was coming. It was only a matter of time. So, only a matter of time. Oh, yep, no, see, now Preacher's getting mad. He's like, you better settle. Oh, look, see. Oh, look, they're both good dogs. Look how they both went into submission. <laughs> and they're still both trying to fight. So Preacher's getting mad because they're not listening. See, now they're kind of stopping. <laughs> so you see how they quit? Do you see how they quit? You're a good boy, Preacher. You're a good boy. So they know how to be respectful. They're like, come on, Dad. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, they woke up the beast. <laughs> Instead of, oh, no, you woke up dad. It's, oh, no, you woke up mom. <laughs> See, look, there she is. She's coming in. She's coming in. Just <laughs> to say her piece. She's like, oh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Morgan fine. See, Midnight's such a good girl. Do you see how she got out of it? Do you see how she went and sat down? She's such a good girl, I swear. She really is a very perceptive dog. Very smart thinking dog, observant. Oh, he's like, don't you mess me around. Disrespectful, pushing him around.
Preacher. Psst. Stay out of it. It's not your job. Psst. No. No. Psst. No. They're not yours. You can't have them. No. You don't need to check them. He's literally checking them to see where they're at in season. But still, I don't care. Like, I don't like it. Not one day his children. He doesn't know any better, but he's just a dog. But still, I do. I don't like it. So I don't let you do it. Okay, he's gonna go sit down in his chair. He's like, fine. I'll just sit here and be sad. <laughs> I've had a lot of people ask me how I prevent inbreeding. And the way that I do that is by putting the females up whenever they're in season and keeping him away. Um, you know, keeping whatever, whoever it is. The males away and keeping the females kenneled. The females need to be kenneled because of the fact that they are, um, you know, they're going to be bleeding. So you don't want that on your house and everywhere. It's just, it's just not, it's not a good idea. So you, they have to be kenneled. So I have um, kennels like these and quit. And I will um, kennel them up and then, um, you know, and that's how we do it. So. Keep him away. Hey, no, get out of that kennel right now. Psst, right now. So, they actually like their kennels. They play in it. They're over there digging on it. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing, Seneca? What are you doing, Seneca? Big old blondie. Submissive. Submissive velocity. Sneaky Tennessee. Oh, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Once again, she got too amped up, and Midnight comes in to say, Hey, man, that's just not okay. Look, see, there she goes. She's dominating her, literally dominating her right now, teaching her that you need to chill out. You're not the leader. Preacher's over here growling as usual. Where there must be like people peeking over our fence or something because he's always growling and barking. What? What, preacher? What? Yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> what? <laughs> he's like, don't look at me. Anyway, well, I figured I would show you guys this. This is literally what we do every night. And it, and honestly, I like, <laughs> like I said, sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes I have to step in, but it, it really is a good way to teach, to teach, um, boundaries and manners and rules. It's a good way to monitor the dogs and to kind of see where everybody's at. And that way, you know, during your training, you know, where everybody's at in the pack and how things are going and you're monitoring the behavior so that they learn when they've gone too far. So, hey, psh, out of it now. That's bad. That's bad. Y'all quit. So that was pretty intense right there. You guys didn't see that. But Midnight um, literally challenged her mother. If you heard that growling, she challenged her mother over a piece of food that was stuck over behind this kennel over here, which ah, Kashmir keeps going over to. Get out of there now. So Kashmir was laying in there, and Midnight came over and started staring at the, um, at the spot as well. Kashmir growled to let her know she needed to move on, but instead of moving, uh, Midnight stared her down, and then just here, Midnight was making a bit of eye contact. 
Now, cashmere is ignoring it for the most part because, you know, it's kind of like how I have to try to ignore my 13-year-old daughter when she says mean things right now. But eventually, she will whoop her butt if it continues. Um, however, luckily, because I saw it, I checked midnight on it, and I will continue to do so. And therefore, cashmere won't feel the need to have to step in because she will know that I will, am going to step in. And so she'll kind of look to me for that. Um, but, you know, the, it'll be the kind of situation where they can't be left unsupervised, which is really the case with any. You really shouldn't be leaving um, your adult dogs together if they're the same gender um, unsupervised unless they're like the only two dogs in the house and maybe they're spayed or like there's certain, I guess, situations. Like I would probably leave Midnight and Blondie out together. But I wouldn't leave Cashmere and Velocity out together. I wouldn't leave Midnight. I wouldn't leave Velocity out with anybody because she wouldn't antagonize them to the point of actually getting into a fight because she's crazy like that. Oh, look at that. See, look at that. Blondie's, Blondie's intense, man. Seriously, she's trying to, she's also trying to uh, come out of her shell and assert herself some more. So, but they usually, like, I haven't actually seen them get too intense. So, like, right now, I'll step in if, if Blondie keeps kind of taking it too far. She's being a little, a little too much. Psst, Blondie. Because really not her fight anyway. She's just kind of coming in on it. And neither, neither Tennessee nor Midnight are really being uh, ill-behaved. They're not being outrageous. They're not really doing much to deserve Blondie coming in and acting that way. What are you guys doing? Get out of there. Come on. Now, hurry. What did I say? Get back over here now. Hustle. That's right, woman. Sit down. Shh. Ah. Velocity, sit. Shh. Velocity. Good girl. That's right. You're a good girl. Look at the way she sits. Is that not the funniest thing? She never sits normal. I mean, like, I guess when we're outside or whatever. But normally, she just sits like this. She's like, I am human. <laughs> oh, she got her. She got her. She's a jerk. Sometimes Velocity doesn't know when to quit playing. As we've seen in other videos, sometimes she doesn't know when to quit. So I have to step in and be like, hey. But I have to kind of monitor it and see where they're at. So cause the puppy right now seems to be engaging. If she, if she tucks her tail, if she tries to run away or retreat, then I'll step in. Midnight. Psst. Get out of it. Midnight. Psst. What I say, you woman? Psst. Get over here now. Psst, psst, psst. She knows that little puppy needs. She knows she needs it. She's like, Mama? Hey, psst, Seneca. No. Oh, no. She's going to get her sister now. There's the cashmere. Where are you going, cashmere? What's the matter, baby girl? You want to go outside? Oh, do you want to go upstairs and lay in bed? Yes, you do. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to take this girl up to bed. Hey, and let her lay in the softness of the bed. Hey, psh, psh, psh. y'all quiet down. So that's a bit too intense. I don't like it when they start to make a bunch of racket like that. They need to calm down at that point. Psh, psh. You're a good girl, Tennessee. Yes, yeah, good girl. All right, well. Hope y'all having a good day, and I'll talk at you later. Bye. <laughs> Did you just see that? Bye. The good girl. Mama loves you. <laughs>